What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video guys, take a look where I am. Guess, yes, you already know by the title guys. So this place is the Chinese restaurant. That's the video for today guys. Take a look. So this is the the Chinese community here in Lusaka, Chinese restaurant. So today, once again, we'll be eating some Chinese food. Yes, that's the video for today. So make sure, if you are new on my channel, do me a favor, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, guys, let's dive deep into today's video. Is it inside? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can feel the spices. Number one, proper number one bull. Yeah, time is 100, but you'll be surprised what happened. Okay, where are you exactly? Okay, so do I go forward? Forward, eh? Oh, at the far end. Hey, I'm surprised. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. You are a very patient man, but thank you. Jesus. <laughs> this one is ready for eating. Yeah, so this is just a display. Okay, how are you? These are groundnuts. Uh, Sorry? Shower. Oh, okay. <laughs> he knows that in shower. Okay. To try. Uh huh. What do you want a Chinese beggar? Uh -huh. So you are getting dumplings, huh? Let me get dumplings for sure. It's not like you are dumpling. Dumpling. You show us where I think fried. Fried, fried. Unfortunately, we don't have beef one. Beef one is Yes, of course, and I would have loved beef, but since so chicken dumplings. That's my selection for today. Okay. Nice. I wish. Mm. 
This one doesn't come as a hole. It should. <laughs> What's up? This is what I have today, guys. <laughs> Something like this. Guess what this one is, guys? Uh huh. These are known as dumplings, and this is some sauce, or some soup, whatever. Whatever I can call it. So some dumplings and some some sauce. So this one, what do you call it? Uh, okay. Pork noodles. Pork noodles. And this one we eat with it. Hallelujah. Chopsticks. Do you offer lessons for chopstick? <laughs> okay. Nice. So guys, as usual, use it. chopsticks. Take a look. Uh, chopsticks. This is the uh, beef is, and what? This is the uh, pork and the noodles. Fried noodles with pork. Fried noodles with pork. And here we, put we have the dumplings. The dumplings. These are chicken dumplings and, and the soup. That the makes soup. It more delicious. Uh huh. Yes. Wow. Fried rice. This is fried rice. Then having dumplings of course chicken dumplings with soup yep if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe if you are a returning viewer thank you very much for always returning so as usual fried rice uh fried pork and uh, noodles dumpling soup a weird drink just for it, for <laughs> testing sick sick it's chinese everything it's chinese no writing guys don't freak out no single english word on this it's Only just numbers. guessing and, uh, but because is, numbers there is no language uh -huh. so we just want it is for the sake of discovering we need to ask for an extra plate isn't it because uh, maybe it's supposed to be eating in parts Uh-huh. It won't matter in heaven. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. I detest it in the highest. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Mm, this drink it's a scam. Okay, that's why I bought it. I decided to buy two different. He says, come. Well, known. You don't figure what in the Okay, uh huh. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I think he. Uh huh. So this is how we eat Chinese food. You buy different portions, mm -hmm. you taste from each portion. This is the best. Yes. 
and if you are in groups you can buy 10 portions that means you are going to try 10 10 different, different portions yes. excellent unfortunately at the moment see, we are just the two of us with our uh -huh. so we we'll just try two so this is fried rice with chicken and with our what? noodles uh -huh. I think that is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's really the best way to describe it. At it won't matter in heaven. Tell you where? Sure, we want to. Are we in heaven? Yeah. We are here on earth. Mm -hmm. So even you now, you can get the portion. Okay. Okay. I'm up, you mean? Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Like green paper. Like my veg. Mm -hmm. What is that? This one is fried uh, noodles. Pork. Fried noodles, fried, fried pork. noodles, fried, fried pork. pork with the noodles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or vice versa. Uh -huh. So we say now is the fried rice with chicken. Mm -hmm. Fried rice. Oh, there's even chicken here. Mm -hmm. Fried rice with chicken. Jollof rice. Mm -hmm. It's different. <laughs> Maybe you say jollof rice. We are just eating anyhow. Uh -huh. And of course, and of course, we have the the dumpling and some uh, sauce or yeah. some soup, whatever, whatever. So this is what we are using. So we go like this. Today will be my second time using the chopping sticks. I want you to try something strange before you leave the camera. Oh, with rice. Uh huh. Ah, today I'm so determined. I was trying, I was training how to use this one. <laughs> Earthquake. Guys, I'm, uh, Tsunami. Uh, imagine. Take a look. Let me try this one. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Do you take the whole lot of bits? You eat it. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. So these are dumpling. Oh, we are going to enjoy, guys. So stay tuned, guys. Guys, the food is really great. Trust me, I never knew it would be this nice. I really didn't know. I really doubted it. Oh my God! In Africa, you can lose your marriage like this. Mm. The rice itself. The rice. Because when you go home, you'll be comparing with what your wife cooks. Guys, in Africa, it's a big deal. Although some people say whatever, in Africa, it's the woman's duty to cook. I know some people may bash me in the comment section, guys, but it is what it is. But you know me. Sometimes I, I do cook. Uh, for my family once in a while when i'm excited or when i'm making a video for you guys you know this is what we are eating so delicious a meal so good once in a while yeah oh my god this will be eating more of this outside than at home mm -hmm. because we are travelers guys we are vloggers Guys, the food is so nice. I've improved on how to use the the what do you call this? Chopping the chopsticks. That's why I even said it. Fried dumpling. Mm -hmm. Even the rice guys have improved. I can still use a chopping stick. Today I'm using a fork. I was I kept rehearsing. 
Last time I even carried my chopstick. So I never really pay attention to restaurant life. It is a new phenomenon to me, guys. But what I noticed in this Chinese restaurant is that um, it's a 50-50. I see a lot of Zambians and I see a lot of Chinese. I see a lot of whites coming to eat in this place. It's my second time entering in this place. But this is exactly what I observed. Both uh okay zambians and other races they all come uh but a lot of them is like the chinese are more comfortable eating their indigenous food what is your comment guys do you like chinese food so my experience is what you have seen i never expected this at a chinese restaurant so the other thing that I observed was that uh, many people have underrated Chinese food and since the Chinese restaurants, there are not many. I don't think I've seen maybe two or three places, maybe two or three places only, they are not everywhere. But I have imagined the way we see a lot of Hungry Lion, if the Hungry Lion was placed next to a Chinese restaurant, trust me. A lot of people would go to sample the Chinese food. Guys, naturally, I'm not a racist. And I can tell you the truth. My first experience Chinese food is just great. There's even a hotel on top. Some shops, a few shops, and some restaurants. Yeah, beautiful place. Is this a bear? Oh, These guys love this stuff. Huh? I wonder what this one symbolizes. <sighs> Dragon. Chinese community. They need to remove this flower. 